Here's a 1957 Buick Super Riviera. So, of course, a two-door hardtop. Very, very nice car. This is the original color of this car. It was a C-code color, so that would have been Dover white. Actually, CC, so it would have been Dover white top to bottom. As you can see, it has the four Ventiports, distinguishing the Super trim level. And, of course, in 57, you would have had the three Chevrons on the rear quarter back here. A very cool car, especially if you're into the big Buicks. Riviera, of course, is the two-door hardtop. See, it has the wide whites, Buick wheel covers. Kind of a neat story behind this car. This car was with the original owner that bought it in June of 1957. She had it until the late 80s so she owned this car 30 plus years and actually the original title uh, is in the glove box with it uh, you can see where each year it was stamped when she upgraded the plates or the tabs on it uh, very very little cool piece of memorabilia in there also has some of the original things that would have came on this car uh, one of the options on this car was the dual speed wipers and the washer and it has a little tag that would have hung on that telling you that it was a dual speed washer and wiper. Um, there's also something about the oil or servicing in it that says to be removed by customer. That's also in the glove box. Uh, it looks like the original owner's manual. And then there's also a sales proposal in there that's written up kind of with options it looks like they were looking at. And uh, some neat stuff that goes along with this car too. Uh, some of the options on it, power windows, power brakes. Uh, this one also has dual exhaust. Of course, automatic transmission, which I believe would have been an option in 57 on these also. As far as the engine, numbers matching, still has the original engine with it. And that would be a 364 6 liter nail head V8 underneath the hood. Uh, you can check out the pictures. So if you want to see the VIN where it's stamped in that engine, uh, you can check out the pictures. You can see the underside of this car, the interior engine bay. The pictures are going to be seen at uniqueclassiccars.com. You can also call us, 507-386-1726. Uh, to get to those pictures down below this video, there's a link. Uh, just click on it. It's in the description of this video. Click on that link. It's going to take you right there. Paint, I would call it a very nice driver quality paint. Uh, kind of the same with the bright work. Is it absolutely perfect? No, you're going to see some real light pitting here. Um, but overall, I mean, nice shape. Again, nice driver quality. You won't have to be afraid to take this one to any of your local shows, cru cruise-ins, anything like that. Great Buick Grill, 1957. Even told you what year it was right on the grill. You can see how straight the car is up and down. I mean, if this car was wavy full of wrinkles you're going to notice it because look at how long that is what a cruiser of course the 57 and 58s are the only two years of this body style for buick does have a cloth a vinyl combination interior to it dash remains very stock looking take a look at the headliner also in nice shape car was a Flint, Michigan built car. Check out that data tag. We'll tell you more information about this also. As far as the color, the trim was rather interesting. When I looked around at the trim on it, uh, the trim code I could find in 1956, but not in 57, which was rather interesting. I don't know if this was an early build or if it was a special interior code or what have you, but check out that data tag. Check out any of the still pictures at uniqueclassiccars.com. Now, remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. And, of course, we can sure assist you with getting this lovely car to where you're located at. Again, come around to the rear dual exhaust coming out each end of the bumpers. And, again, you can see the bright work. There's a little pitting. There'll be some... Scuffing, I think it's original personally by looking at a lot of it, but in nice shape again. I would call it driver quality. Super name badge on the trunk, up and down this side, 
again you can see how straight it is beautiful that white on white and then the red on the bright work breaking it up once again unique classic cars.com click on the link down below this video in the description that's going to take you there phone number 507-386-1726 let's go ahead and check out the interior of this car there is also an accessories uh, little brochure that's in the glove box that came with this and of course you can see some of the accessories you could have got in your car when you're ordering it from your buick dealer and one of them would have been the tissue dispenser guess what this has that tissue dispenser in it see the door panels seats check out the condition of them again i think everything kind of falls into driver quality didn't notice there's a little bit of a tear here in the side of this and again i'm not so sure that isn't the original vinyl possibly on the side of it judging by the condition and everything now what i did go through in here i did not have the wipers working i did have it running and tried them it would have been a vacuum wiper system at the time did not have those i did uh, appear to have all the gauges working we're going to go ahead and start this now of course i got the key on down here and as far as the push pedal start See, it starts right up. Odometer reads 60,871. I can't confirm or deny that mileage because it doesn't stay on the title once it's sold. You know, judging by the looks of this car, wouldn't surprise me if that's original miles. Uh, so once again, gauges appeared to work. Did not have the wipers working. I did have the radio working. You can see it looks like it has a stock radio there. Blower fan was also working. There's that tissue dispenser. Great running car, sounds very nice. Again, power steering, power brakes. Let's slip out. I'm going to slip around to the back of this. So nicely, that door closes also. All right, let's come around to the back. And you see how easily it starts, how nicely it runs. I'm going to go ahead and walk up to the front here. We're going to pop the hood so you check out the engine bay. I'm going to pause this a second so I can get that hood open for you. All right, so here you go. Hood open. Again, power steering, power brakes. Uh, that nail head V8, that is a 364, his number's matching. There's numbers stamped down there and they are in the picture so you can see that. There's a data tag back there in the cowl. Again, the original owner had this car for 30 plus years. Some cool paperwork in the glove box, we'll leave that in it when it gets sold. Get shipped to the new owner. So there you have it. 1957 Buick Super Riviera, of course, the two-door hardtop. Give us a call, 507-386-1726. And, of course, check out the still pictures, uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below in the description of this video. We do consider trades. Financing is available. And, of course, we can assist you with getting this sweetheart to where you're located at. Give us a call.